Welcome to NFL Live. I'm Drew here with Alan and Morgan. Today we're going to be discussing who do we think is coming out of the NFC West on top. Alan, what do you? Th- what are your thoughts? Um, Arizona. I mean, you look at Kyler Murray, what he did last year, and he's he can only improve. And he's got DeAndre Hopkins with him. He's got AJ Green. Now say what you want about his age, but he's still a very solid receiver. So I think their offense will be pretty good. Defense for the Cardinals. Uh, you got J.J. Watt, so that automatically makes their defense stronger. So, yeah, I expect uh, Arizona to come out. Morgan? I'm also going to say the Cardinals, and I'm going to go on out on a limb, and I think they will make it barely. They will barely beat out the 49ers with a really healthy 49ers team with a Hale Murray to cap off the season to secure the division. Yes, I'm saying it, Hale Murray to cap off the division. Offense looks strong. Defense looks strong. The 49ers, although they do look strong and they have some really good health players when they're healthy, I just don't think Jimmy G can carry him, and I think Kyler Murray can. That's a very specific prediction to end the season. I'm going to go a different direction. I'm going to go back to the L.A. Rams. I think that even with the loss of Cam Akers this season because of his uh, torn Achilles, Matthew Stafford is just such an upgrade at quarterback from Jared Goff. I think he's going to make Cooper Cup and Robert Woods, who are already very good receivers with Jared Goff, just that much better. And I think their defense is as strong as ever. Uh, They did lose uh, Brockers. That's going to hurt them. However, Aaron Donald's just such a beast that it it won't matter in the end. Uh, So I think they're going to beat out the Cardinals, but I think the Cardinals do have a shot to make the wild card. Uh, especially in the 17-game season. Who do you think is going to finish at the bottom of the league? It's a pretty stacked division. It's so close, but I think, I personally think that I'm going to go out on a limb. This is a really limb, but Russell Wilson has an, an off season this year. He doesn't have a good season. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's just ha- hasn't been super consistent. I think he's just not going to have a great season this year. And the, the rest of the Seahawks aren't that good. And I think that with – how strong the other teams in division are, I think they're, that's, the, that's what's going to be the deciding factor is that Russell, if Russell Wilson isn't amazing, then the Seahawks aren't good, and if the Seahawks aren't good, they're the worst in the division. Uh, Allen, what do you, who do you think is at the bottom of this division? Um, I'm going to say it's the Niners. I mean, I know you got Jimmy G back. I know your roster's healthy, but, I mean, you, 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 you can't convince me that you're going to be a 12 or 13 win team even with your roster being healthy. Because remember, even when Garoppolo and them were healthy, they still looked really off. So I think it's the Niners. Okay. I'm going to have to agree with Morgan and go with the Seahawks. I think on paper the roster is just very weak. And I'm told we uh, have breaking news. DeAndre Hopkins has punched Cliff Kingsbury and has been traded back to Houston. Uh, So what is this going to mean for the Cardinals' playoff chances? By DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, you, it's common sense. You don't punch your head coach in the face. I mean, especially if that coach is Cliff Kingston. I mean, I mean, have you seen that man? Or Kingsbury, sorry. That man is an absolute beast of an individual. I mean, he's just an absolute monster. You can't punch somebody like that and expect to stay. He is he should get traded back to Houston, and he will be stuck with a quarterback who either has a bunch of sexual allegation charges on his hands or – which is terrible, or will be stuck with a below-average QB. Uh, I think it's all part of his master plan to get his trade value back up. Uh, He got traded for a second-round pick, uh, and he's been pretty active on Twitter saying that he's worth more than a second-round pick, so he's trying to get traded back to Houston so that they'll trade him for a first-round pick this time around. Yeah, I could see that, but I still don't know why in the world you think of – hey, I'm going to punch my coach in the face. I mean, you must have been really, really bored. Uh, yeah. So that is uh, the, N- the, NF- the NFC West segment uh, for NFL Live. I'm Drew Rilio with Allen and Morgan.